Okay, here we are, Kenny and Norma Appleby's house, April 29th, 2023. And this is the uh, old Appleby farmstead here, isn't it? North yeah. of Mexico is where we are. And actually, that's maybe a place to start. You grew up here, didn't you? Right in this place. No, up not on here, the up on the hill. But on this ground. Yeah. On this, so is this part of your dad's farm? Yeah. yeah. And was that, did your dad get this property or? Yeah, he bought it back in '46. It's kind of it's kind of amazing to think that, you know, my mom the same way. She grew up in a house that was a block from where she lived her whole life. I mean, it was this this the and almost nobody does it anywhere, but you did. Yeah, I've never I've never lived in all, any place but Audrain County, and you all can't say that. Oh no, I definitely I've never lived in Audrain County. Yeah. <laughs> But that's the only one county I've lived in. I remember you guys lived in Rush Hill. I was stepping in the old drain. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's right. I remember visiting over there. You had that uh, that machine shop there yeah. where you had some good jam sessions, I'm, I'm told. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Years ago. Remember those, Norma? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had two stoves in there one time. That, for my, that was my birthday mm -hmm. bash, wasn't it? Yeah, it was cold. <laughs> When's your birthday? January 18th. That can be quite cold. Yeah, yeah that's, that's about yeah. as cold as it gets. We had a lot of old timers there at that party. What, uh, when was that? I don't know. I don't remember <laughs> what birthday it was. I, was. I was quite a bit younger, I'm sure. Than now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's probably back in 88, 89. Pete and Taylor was there, Niles. Bill Kearns and Bill Eddy. Yeah. Um, Robert Bill Eddy. Charlie McKinney's Walden. from yeah. Springfield. Howard. Yeah. Yeah, I had a good party. Sounds like it. Yeah. So is, were you the first musical person in your family? Or did other people in your family play? My sister played the piano. And the but, guitar some. Yeah. I was the only one who ever done anything. <laughs> How'd you get started? I like, wanted to play the guitar. Like you just took a wild hair one day and decided, or did you hear some somebody or something? Well, yeah. There was a lot of recordings back then. Sure. And the radio, WSM. I was one of them type of people that set up on Saturday night and uh -huh. listened to WSM while the rest of them was doing their Rocky Rollies. Gotcha. Yeah. And I'm, you're like, I gotta get into this, huh? I said, I'm gonna do this. Well, on Saturday nights now, WSM had, had live entertainment on Saturday nights. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like Grand Ole Opry. Listen to that in Del Rio, Texas. I don't know if you can get that now. Back then you could. Yeah, well, it didn't come in very good. Yeah, it didn't come in very good. It didn't come in. <laughs> so what was your first guitar? I had a black silver tone arch top. That's worth several dollars now if I had it. Where'd you get it at? Serves and Roebuck. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's a classic source. Yeah. So yeah. It was, was it delivered? Or did you go down to Sears and get it? Uh, we went to a store in Mexico and got it. That's that's what the place well, was at. used to. You could do the ship ship to store thing back in the day too. Oh, but you went and got it. So that was a that was a silver tone. Yeah. About well, well, like your K you have now, or is it? No, it's, it's like, like my other, other silver, silver tone. tone. Got in oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was black. Yeah, and it's worth more money than that in this. I can't <laughs> believe that. Because it's black. Yeah, painted huh? black. It was black paint on it. <laughs> had a neck that was a fence post, hard to play. I said, and I made up my mind when I bought a Gibson, I said, everybody should start out on a silver tone guitar that's hard to play. They'll appreciate something easy. <laughs> right? Well, I remember you telling me one time about getting s strings at the beginning and yeah. how awful they were. <laughs> well. In Mexico, there was two places you could get strings. 
That was Peck's Music Store and Lawrence Drug Store. And all they had was Black Diamond. But when they go over to Columbia, stop over at Shaw's and get Gibson strings. And I never did understand what they was, but they was the Monells. Ah. And, but anyway, that's, they cost about $3 back then, and I think uh, Black Diamond's about $1.75. But were the Monells twice as good? Oh, they last a lot longer. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a difference. Yeah. It's, it's expensive. I mean, you know, that's a few years ago, and strings now are what six, seven, fifty a set, something like or that. Or more. Yeah. yeah depends, I mean, it depends on what you buy. Yeah. If you want something fancy, they're going to cost you fifteen dollars, but you get a pretty ordinary set for seven. Well, I think black diamonds. It, I'm not sure you can still get them in that. I probably can. I think they're six, seven dollars. I think you can again. I think somebody yeah. resurrected it. I don't know who, what strings they are now. Well, they silver plated copper. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, they wore out pretty quick. Yeah, I said that wouldn't that wouldn't hold up very good. Strings got your fingers got black from them pretty quick too. As you're wearing off all the nickel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they worked for a while anyway. So that was your first your first guitar was the silver tone. Yep. Yeah. Did and you get do you get like a how to play the guitar instruction book with it or like how, how yeah, did you I think start it, it? I think it did. Got chords books with it. Yeah. I learned a bunch of chords and uh there was a guy there in Mexico that had been in a car wreck. He at that time I think he was living up in Rock Island, Illinois. Played it nightclub or whatever mm -hmm. had a band they played in up there and he uh, was back here convalescing and uh, anyway we'd take him cart and cigarettes I'd sit there and he'd tell me what was doing wrong show me <laughs> and went up there several times with him I got some preliminary stuff from him so was that were you a teenager then I was uh yeah, I guess so. I was about seventh grade. Probably. Excellent. I think that's about when I started. Trading cigarettes for guitar lessons? Yeah. Some things haven't changed. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, before you played fiddle tunes, you played... This country song. Country music. And Norma? You we sang, didn't you? used to sing, and then... Senior citizen dances. Yeah, one time we done that. And jam sessions? They have they have singing strum jam sessions around here. Not too many. I don't I don't ever remember really going to jam sessions when I was young. There was a boy across the road out here. Uh, he'd come over to the house back in our younger days. After we went to high school, we didn't do that no more. And then Arlie Mackey I played with him on and off through high school. And after high school. And we still did. Well and they used to have jam sessions down at Rush Hill Community yeah. Center. Yeah, we had them down there years ago. And you did some church music too, right? Church mm -hmm. singing? Yeah. Yeah. When did you first run into fiddlers? Well, I had a fiddle. Oh, probably when I was 15, maybe. Might have been 16. And I never could get much out of a fiddle. I said, well, there's, I just don't think I can play it. So anyway. I kind of well, give it it's up. it's hard, yeah. <laughs> you know, and then, especially if nobody's showing you yeah. how. But anyway, uh, I don't know when that was, probably 84, 5, 85 probably, wasn't it? I run into Vesta Johnson when they was down at Montgomery, Old Thrashers. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I got to know her and I said, 
well, I'll play some with her. So I did. And uh, I finally signed that fiddle. <laughs> well, she was a pretty good recruiter. Yeah. You know, yeah. she she knew how to get people involved. I think the first the first fiddle tunes I ever heard you play were Vesta tunes. Yeah, probably. She had a bunch of good ones. Yep. But I remember playing, uh, oh, the Hog House Rag, of course, yep. and what, Washington and Lee Swing, is that what it's called? Yep. She and that, that Cherry Blossom or Cherry Tree Waltz, I can't remember. Cherry Orchard. Cherry Orchard, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't come up with that on a dare, but I remember playing it. Yeah. At one point. So you met her at at Montgomery County Threshers. Mm -hmm. And that was your first. Was she really the first feather you ever ran into? Oh, probably not. But that's probably the one that stuck with me. Grab you? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah well, sure. in '76 we had a fiddle contest at Rush Hill for yeah. the Centennial. Nice. And so, I emceed it and got the that judges. Actually, and actually, the first fiddle contest I remember going to, they had it over at Perry, and the only reason I went to it, because we was going to have one at Rush Hill. And I kind of wanted to see how, we wanted to see how it was operated. How to run it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think their PA system was a megaphone. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, it was a hand held out. Yeah, that. I it think, could not be good. No. Yeah. So did somebody hold it in front of the fiddle and they? They 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 had a microphone on it, but it, that's what it was. And but it was at the park, you know. It really didn't mount. Not there wasn't that many fiddlers there. But uh, and that was like seventy six, something yeah. like that. Yeah, it was seventy six. That was a good year. That was the year I was born. <laughs> and then. Uh, so anyway, we had the, the fiddle contest down there. Uh, I don't remember what time of the year that was. It was in the summer. It was in the summertime. And it went along pretty good. Pete was there. Taylor. Nolan Boone. Nolan Boone was there. John Griffin. And I do believe Wells Boys was there. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a pretty good I'm, I'm not crowd. sure if, who else would have been there. We had, there was eight or so. I think Howard was there. Yeah, he might have been. I'm not sure. Can't remember that far back. Remember who won? Uh, <laughs> Nolan Boone, I think. Yeah, I think he did. Wow. We had a boy that worked at a music store for a judge. I don't remember who the other two was. Uh, I don't remember now who they was either. I do remember that. Oh, one was uh, Devlin from Fresh Hill because he played fiddle. Yeah. And I don't remember who I had for the other one. So anyway, I guess it, it was done pretty close to right, being right. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure everybody had a good time. Well, I think and they did. That's the point. Yeah, I think they did. Yeah, we had, uh, I think we had that kind of community center yeah, outside. Yeah, it was outside. Yeah. We had a stage out there, and everybody was dressed up in their clothes for Centennial. And so if you if you were meeting Vesta in the mid-'80s, that would have been about the same time Bethel was starting to get Bethel. put together? Yeah. Uh, a little after that? I went up to Bethel. I that was before the barn was built. They had it in a tent. They had it in a tent. And I went up there the next year for the, at the contest, and the barn was built. I, I think. think that was in 85 when we went up there. Yeah. It was in 86 we went down because of Bob Walsh was up there at Bethel. And um, I can't think of what his name is from Porsche. Uh, yeah, George Porsche, Porsche and his, his mom. His mom was up there. Yeah. They played in the contest, and Vesta was there. Yeah. Uh, Jake Huckamar. 
Heat. Kevin Bunch. Taylor. There was a Bunch. Johnny Bruce. Oh, um, all kinds of them. <laughs> I, I would have liked to quite a contest. Yeah. And uh, I went up there when they were first come up there. I, they was building the the stage. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And I think it was like 87. I'm not sure. So the barn was new in 87? Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it was built in yeah, 86, I think, when it was built. But uh, so the, the fiddle camp started. It was already going on. 85, 86, something like yeah. that? Yeah. And who really who really got that going? Charlie. Charlie Wall it was Charlie. Wall. Yeah. Anybody else? Or was it really Charlie? Charlie and Bill Shaw. And then they had yeah. Amy. Stillman. Stillman. She helped run it. And then yeah. Patty, I don't know what her last name was. She so, ran it for one year. Yeah, there were several of them that wrote the grants for mm. Bethel. And then Wendy finally took it over. So it got started with all the, the yeah. what they call themselves, the State Old Time Fiddlers Association? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So they were, they were writing grants yeah. and... Doing, they did a bunch of stuff in, yeah. in the in the eighties. So I they, think Charlie Charlie run that for about ten years. Yeah, because he had the white uh, lamb up there, and he had uh, the white Grover from and Virgil Smith. Uh, they used to have a whole workshop. Of, one was in inside the building playing the piano. Yeah, musical. Uh, they had uh, Joe Grave Grable or whatever his name was. That, Played the dulcimer. Uh, Graves. 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 Josh. What? Go. It was Bill and jo jo Bill Graves. Bill Graves. Bill Graves. But they had all kinds of stuff going on up there. When you were first learning to play guitar for fiddle backup, did somebody help you out with that, or did you just kind of figure it out from listening to to I people? I pretty well figured it out listening, and it didn't come out of Missouri. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what I noticed years ago at these contests, they was play very simple stuff, like three chord stuff. Is that's all they ever played in these tunes? And I thought, there's got to be more in that. <laughs> so let's get out of out of the country. <coughs> so went down to. Well, Compton Ridge Campground went down there. Uh, there was a lot of Western swing players in there and in that. And we went to Harrison, Arkansas. And I was in the contest down there at Harrison, too, when they had it there at the college. They didn't have it there one year. That's big money. I made $200 and got third place, man. It was good. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> there was only three of them. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to tell that. <laughs> you, you know, you have to. You they did it by age groups, yeah. and there was only three of them in there. Good for you. And then uh, we was in Clarksville, Tennessee, quite a bit. Oh, yeah. And it went down to, speaking of had that down there at Mountain View contest. That's where you found out where the guitar players was at. I run across an old boy down there the first time I seen him. I said, that old man can play, can't he? And I, so I, I got to know him after a while and he got to know me and he'd show me a few things and I'd show him a few things. Nice. And I, but he was a heck of a guitar player. Wild Bill Lyle. And where was he from? Texas. Texas. He was Nixon's helicopter pilot. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but most of them around Oops, record stuff. Mm -hmm. That's all they played. That's all they played in the walls since they played that. Mm -hmm. And that's what I said. We got to change this. <laughs> well, it depends a little bit on what kind of fiddling it is, too, right? Right. Some like, some tunes ain't got the three chords in it. That's all you're gonna play. But right. most of your waltz has got more than that. Most of them. Yeah, like like a lot of Vesta tunes are three chord tunes. Mm -hmm. Not all of them, but oh. a lot of them yep. are three chord tunes. But 
Like if you were backing up Pete, maybe, or I'm trying to think one of the fancier, fancier tune guys from around here. Well, Taylor played several of them. Oh, yeah. Western Waltz, that 50 year old Waltz he played. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it didn't need to be done in three chords. <laughs> <laughs> there was more in it. You got to help the fiddler all you can with a guitar. Well, I mean, I guess that's my, that's my question is, how much do you think you change, like you, how you are playing based on what fiddler you're playing with? I don't really know how to answer that. Like it just happens? And yeah. <laughs> you're, not, you're not thinking about it? I generally play it my way. And mine's the only way I know. Well, I've heard you. I've heard you um, be really gentle on some of the little little kids at Bethel. You know, really simplify it down for them. Well, sometimes you got to. <laughs> but yeah. I play what I want to hear. Fair. I, I don't really care what anybody else wants to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Not anybody. Not even normal. No. Because I know it's I know it's going to work, and if it don't, I'll change it. When he first started playing, I, I, oh my gosh, he just chased me through the house, moving wherever I went. I was trying to get away from him. <laughs> that was a fun one. <laughs> don't have to play too fast. Play whatever speed you want to play. Play whatever tunes you want to play. Play whatever tunes you want to play. Dance speeds are dance is all right too, but they get kind of stretched out too long. Two times through any tunes long enough. <laughs> that's what Pete's always said. You only know play it twice. Play it twice through, and that's it. You mean you can give us three times through? Huh? Only <laughs> time I ever give three times through, I goofed. <laughs> <laughs> I want another chance. Yeah, see if I can play it right. I've definitely done that. Well, two times is, if, especially if it's a thing you don't know, the first time you're just figuring out where it is. You're playing in contest. Twice through is all you need to play it. Yeah, well, everybody First time, knows. hope you done it right. Second time, you better do it like you done the first time and quit. <laughs> that's, a, that's what Dwight, Dwight told us. He said, if you make it through twice without making a mistake, right. do not try for a third time. Right. <laughs> if you make a mistake in the time, go home, try then, one yeah, more. Yeah, then but you try. A lot of times you'll make that mistake again. I've noticed. So it happens when you start thinking. Yeah. Fiddling. Yeah. Everything goes goes wrong. I, I think it's actually the it's the field, the electric field from the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> it makes your brain not work. I have a tendency of playing the darn contest thinking about the next tune while I'm playing the first tune. Uh-huh. That doesn't help. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, congratulations on the award. You deserved it. Yeah. If it wasn't for you all, I wouldn't get it. I don't know about that. I, I, you, you had a pretty solid group of supporters. Yeah. We just yeah. did the paperwork. You, you got you it. You earned it. You done the paperwork. You wrote up a pretty good little article in there. And Everybody else did, Everybody too. else did.